Hello, fellow sim magicians, and welcome back to another episode of Tech Tuesday. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about this thing: the hydraulic braking module. Now, as you may know, the brake system on a real car is hydraulic. That means the brake power relies on the pressure created by the compression of fluids. Now, the hydraulic modules, like the one you're seeing right here, is to create a more compact version of a braking system that you see on a real car. And like the braking system of a real car, you have a few components. Now, firstly, we have the brake pedal, we have the oil container, and the main pump. And when you apply the braking pressure, that pressure is going to transfer onto the main pump, and the main pump is going to pump the fluid from the container into the caliper. And then the caliper is going to transfer that pressure onto the brake pad and then onto the brake disc to slow the car down. Now, the difference that you're seeing here on the braking module is that instead of a caliper, you have the side pump. And that side pump is going to pump that pressure onto the elastomers or springs, depending on what kind of modules that you're using. So after knowing that, you can see that with the hydraulic module fitted, the pedals are very reminiscent to a real car's brake system both having a pedal, an oil container, and a main pump. Then the side pump resembles the caliper, and the elastomers resembles the brake pads. Now, why do we want to use a hydraulic module for the brakes? Well, on a real car, the brake force and brake feedback is transferred through a medium, and that medium being the brake fluid. And therefore, the brake force and brake feedback aren't going to be 100% translated between the brake pedals and the caliper. So coming off from that, you can tell braking directly into the elastomers compared to braking into a hydraulic module into the elastomers is going to feel different. And in order to recreate that brake feel on the real car to be as close as possible, we implemented the hydraulic module specifically for this purpose. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to follow us on various social media platforms if you haven't already. I'm Alvin, and this is Tech Tuesday, and I hope to see you in the next episode. But until then, keep racing, sim magicians.